Okay, so in the first video, we looked at the delay plugins in Logic Pro X. Now we're gonna be checking out the delay plugins in Pro Tools. If you haven't seen the Logic one yet, make sure you check that one out. The links will be on the screen as well as the Ableton Live 10 delay comparison video. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so we're now in Pro Tools and we're looking at the stock delay plugins that come as part of this suite. Again, we're gonna start off with the vocal clip as I played in Logic. There's not a thing I can do. Okay, it's dry, there's no processing whatsoever. Right here, I've got the delay plugins already inserted into the channel strips. Let me show you what you've got available. So if we go to another insert, we go to delay and here the stock Pro Tools plugins will be the dynamic delay, the multi delay, the BBD delay, and the mod delay three, which is modulation delay three. And of course you've got the time adjuster. The other delay plugins like the Isotope Nectar 2 and the Tal Dub X, these are third party plugins. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna start with the dynamic delay. This is the interface right here. Again, it's disappointing that unlike Logic, where you've got a control to adjust the size of the plugin interface, we're kind of stuck with this small interface, which makes it a bit of a challenge to actually see what the controls are saying. To get around this, I'm using my key command, command option plus. Now you can check out my video on how to set this up where you can actually zoom in like so and you have a better view of the details on the plugin, okay? So check out the video. There'll be a link on the screen at some point to show you how to set that up. So you'll be able to get a closer look at your plugins. Anyway, let's play this back and have a listen. Let's switch off the bypass. It's not a thing I can do. Okay, so the dynamic delay is quite a handy tool actually, because have a listen. You can hear that only certain portions of the audio is being repeated. Listen again. There's not a thing I can do. Right, now what's great about this is that it really does help in terms of eliminating mud in your mix. The delay unit only looks for the gaps where there is no signal and repeats during those gaps. So you don't have a constant doubling up of the signal. Okay, and that's really handy in terms of reducing the amount of audio buildup, which can have a negative effect on your mix. So one more time. There's not a thing I can do. Yeah, that's really, that's really handy. Um, again, the controls are real simple. You can synchronize to the tempo of the song. You've got the feedback control right here. You can determine the left and right positioning of the repeated signal whether it's in stereo mono you've got filters right here low cut and high cut filters and modulation controls really simple quite similar to the logic tape delay in fact and of course you've got a load of preset options right here and they're great starting points and then you can adjust from there so that is the dynamic delay let's go on to the multi delay now this has a ton of presets as well 25 presets to start off with right so what we've got here is we've got five tap positions, okay? And these are the different intervals where different delay parameters can be set at different intervals over time. Now the controls, again, you can sync to the tempo of the song. Now these are the overall controls, delay time, feedback control, filters, high cut, low cut, and mix control. Anyway, let's have a quick listen. Let's start with preset one. There's not a thing And let's try something like the old school reverb. There's not a thing I can do. Yeah, okay. So again, a lot of control here, not as in depth as Logic's delay designer where you can adjust pitch, resonance, and you've got a lot more flexibility in Logic. Having said that, it can be a bit more daunting and confusing but this definitely is something very useful and can add some interesting character to your mix okay and so that's multi-delay or multi-tap delay let's go to the bbd um let's switch this on it's not a thing I can do. now this delay as you can see it looks very much like a delay pedal for a guitar or a, some sort of life instrument and that's exactly what it is uh, it's an emulation of that type of delay so there's about five presets there starting with this one so this one is not so much designed 
for vocals, however you can use it. I mean, there's not a thing I can do. Again, the controls are very simple. You can switch from chorus to vibrato. You can expand the delay, you can input signal, the mix signal. I mean, it's, it's pretty much straightforward. And here's your, your foot switch, as it were. There's not a thing I can do. So pretty straightforward, and you can definitely make use of this on your instruments. Okay, moving on. Now the mod delay three. Now this one is pretty cool. This is not a thing I can do. Cool. So that's um, a nice wide stereo delay. Um, here you've got link controls where you can link the left and right channel together. So this is your left channel, this is your right channel. Switch that on and you adjust here. Controls on both sides are operated just by the single dial. So yeah, controls again are very simple. Switch the link off. We've got a delay time here. Feedback is a low pass filter on each side. Again, the sync control, syncing to tempo or not. So you've got the interval control right here based on notation. And then you've got groove control down here. Okay, which is kind of cool. Your wet dry slider and modulation, uh, depth and rate. And it's really simple, but this is probably going to be my sort of go to delay when I'm working with vocals in Pro Tools. Easy to understand and the results are very smooth and usable. And in terms of presets, I mean, you've got quite a lot of presets right here. Yeah, very handy and useful delay unit. Okay, let's move to the next one. And now we come to the time adjuster. It's very similar to the sample delay plugin in Logic. So let's play this back. There's not a thing I can do. There's not a thing. There's not a thing I can do. Okay, so let's try it here. There's not a thing. It very quickly adds interest to the vocal. It spreads things out and nice and wide. Let's bypass and go again. There's not a thing I can do. Especially on vocals, it really adds interest very, very quickly. There's not a thing I can do. Okay, so very similar to the sample delay plugin in Logic. You've got your delay slider right here, the amount of samples you're going to be delaying by, and then you've got a volume control right here. And that's about it. There's not much else to do in this. I mean, it gives you results really quickly and it's really simple. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how the same plugins can be used on your instruments. So now I've got a very simple four note melody on the expand to software instrument. Let me play that back for you. Nice and straightforward, pretty plain. And now let's pull up the dynamic delay and let's see what we get. The melody is okay, but it's not exciting at all. But as soon as you start adding the delay to it, it becomes far more interesting. Okay, so let's pull up our multi-tap delay and let's try this one out. Yeah, that's really cool. And that's just on the factory default. There's nothing actually even happening on there yet, really. Okay, again, you can have loads of fun messing with this because this multi-tap delay does add some very musical, very interesting character to a very simple synth line. Let's quickly go over to this one right here and let's kick off with this.
yeah and that's cool that's cool as well again once you put your guitar lines through here you i'm sure you'll be able to come up with something really interesting as well okay not spending much more time on this let's go straight over to the mod delay 3 and let's see what we get here okay let's try Interesting, but probably not as exciting as the multi-tap delay. I would use mainly on vocals, so not so much on musical instruments. Let's come out and now we've got our time adjustment delay. Play that back. Again, very simple um, as demonstrated with the vocals. You just adjust the slider, whether it be the left or the right slider, um, just to get the effect that you want. and you can adjust the volume so very simple but again i find it really handy to use it to thicken mainly on a vocal i suppose um or, or any other instrument or sound source that you want to add more body to so that's the pro tool set of delays some very very interesting plugins right there straight out of the box that you can use to create more interest in vocals as well as other sound sources okay so i hope you're feeling what i'm doing here i hope you found this video useful also if you haven't watched the videos i've done on ableton live and logic pro x delay plugins make sure you check them out the links will be on the screen send me a comment send me some feedback like and subscribe if you're feeling what i'm doing it's always great hearing from you and remember to switch on your notification bell i'll be back real soon i'm dr deuce peace